All right, good afternoon to you, good evening to you. This is the Dinkra Radio, your number one second to nine. <laughs> Enjoy the washing version of the <laughs> Things Fall Apart from Kofi Kanata. This one is coming from Nana Blue. Worship version of it. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon to you. Good evening to you, wherever you are. Today is another beautiful Saturday. What um, I can't say is beautiful, though, because what is actually happening today is something terrible heavy snowstorm in new york city um we sincerely apologize for the delay of today's edition it's no fault of ours the way uh snow newton very heavy today so um we had nothing there we you we, i think i have to even praise my panel members for even making it possible because if many people thought we can even i had no trust that we we're going to have this show today but due to their dedication and their love for today's program no and i said this program that's why they are showing up today so god bless you uh my wonderful guest um bishop alexander dujemfi and apostle tk god bless you for making it possible today um uh, please just in case you just join us share the video invite many and let's talk about one of the most important topics so far so good in our lives um we are talking straight about um should you consider yourself your position your educational level your achievement you are just a who you are should you look at yourself before you make a choice of um a wife or a husband should you even consider oh 
your position as a principal, your position as the pastor, your position as the bishop, your position as a teacher, your position as a politician, should you consider all these things before you fall into a relationship or before you get into marriage and now before you choose a partner, are you going to consider yourself with the with these positions or with these levels before you say, oh, okay, per my position, per what I have, um, per what I do, I am going to go for this or that. Do you have to consider all these before you go into uh, marriage or relationship? This is the topic for today. Some people are saying, yes, it is true. I have to consider myself. I have to consider my position. I have to make sure that, oh, I am an honorable person. So I'm going for an honorable lady and um, I'm going for nothing but the best, something that matches my level. Why wouldn't I consider my level before falling into a relationship or picking up a wife or a partner? That is somebody's thought. Somebody is like, oh, what has position got to do with relationship? What do you mean? Wait a minute. <laughs> no, we are talking about love. Relationship, marriage has come to do with love. N marriage is unconditional or love is unconditional. I don't care who you are, what you are, what you do, what you do not do, or what you can do, what you cannot do. All I have to consider is the love I have for you. Okay, so I don't have to consider all these. Hey today is today so um i think before we end today's show you will be educated you have to know what actually goes on into um what you are choosing as a partner who you are choosing as a partner so what yes here so my able men here are here today to deliver and they shall make you really understand what um should be done before or what should be considered as a wonderful um couple it's about love let's listen to this music Okay, I have my able man here to deliver. And this is what you're going to talk about today. Looking at your position. Looking at who you are. Considering your education level. Your honorable status. <laughs> Before choosing a partner, would you look at them? before i have the wonderful and on um, the perf um like a warming honor to introduce to you my indefatigable panel members my able man but ambitious man resilient ones of course who has never failed to deliver before and before i introduce them to you there's just one thing I would need you to do for me. Just call a friend, call a friend. And share the video and share the video. And tell them that we are ready. The Drive Time Show is ready live on the Crowd Radio NY. So we both all can deliver together. This is a special one to a special one of mine. Who actually is in love with his music? 
GG Show a kiss a very special one to you oh, I know wherever you are watching me from Jeez. you are enjoying because I'm playing your music it's a special request to you okay back to the studios let me take the honor to introduce to you Apostle or dinner home I oh yeah make a maka TK Apostle think right Apostle praise the Lord Hallelujah. Um, Hallelujah. Yes, yes, um, when I see people in Thai, um, the first thing that comes in mind is like, oh, this person is a very honorable person. It doesn't take everyone to put to be able to put on a tie. Even before you can tie this thing around your neck, mm-hmm. it's a whole lot of <laughs> ideas put together That's before right. you can do that. So I respect my salute to you Thank for you. even putting on a tie. And wine is also one of my favorite colors. Mm-hmm. So keep it up. Thank you. Mommy is ah. <laughs> Bishop, mm-hmm. Dr. Alexander Edujemfi. Um, Bishop. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Apo man. Good. You see, not just your tie, couple with a suit, telling me your position. You see, the way you dress can also identify who you are sometimes, mostly. I think the dressing can expose you. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, your dressing determines how you are dressed. Oh, <laughs> you see, this man is back again. <laughs> Beautiful quotes. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Your dressing determines how you are addressed. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I like that. I think I have something today. <laughs> Remember, your dressing determines how you are addressed. Wonderful one from Bishop. Uh-huh. I'm just saying this way back in the 80s. Mm-hmm. There was one particular place in Kumasi KGT. Mm. They've written that place, do not urinate. Mm. Do you not unite here? <laughs> some, so true, uh-huh. some guys, mm-hmm. those who drag trucks, mm. tr- uh, um, um, tr- uh, um, yes. truck, trucks, some mm-hmm. will go there and instantly they will be arrested. No. One guy with a tie like this also went to the same place and mm-hmm. he came and saluted the person and said, Master, please. Next time, don't do this. Don't do this again. <laughs> but then, the ordinary one without <laughs> that appearance was arrested. Because they didn't know who that person is. <laughs> you see. But other Kayoyu were all yeah. arrested and sent them to city council, collected wow. some money. But the one with the tie, they approached him nicely and said, Master, Hadi. Because they didn't know who that person is. So Ooh. they addressed him because of the tie. In the the tie. In, oh. <laughs> Oh, you see, so <laughs> your, dressing. your dressing determines how you are dressed. Keep that for today and keep the focus. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bishop Dr. Alexander Edu Um, Just a quick reminder, this show is brought to you by um, Belexa Decorations. Belexa, Belexa, and Asoya, Sina, and Ayadi Jumadiwe, Ebro. Belexa, I see, into the decorations are um, Obetimi, and New Omo, Archie Trim, Komo, New Bebua, Bebia, Obefro, Mubiani, they are going to show up with a beautiful and exclusive decorations of all times. Something very beautiful, something lucrative, something glittering. Uh, you will love it. Call uh, Belexa on 212 um, 365. Okay, zero seven six five two one two three six five zero seven six five Belexa Deco Papa pa, pa and on Sarah so and uh in mascotech um music promotions and um 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 um, um Everything they repair your gadgets and all that. You must go take for home about the don or more now. Yeah, wow, you must go take yeah, ba yeah, ba yeah, ba yeah, I'm winning and don't you need because we can fix it. Call on them 646 407 7267 646 407 from Sisiana or Heavy legit decorations said you didn't know corner. Maybe I shall have in a bed for you having a PM in New York City, having a PM or a brochure, having a PM or baby. just call on them 917 um 226 now brow and my boy with a beautiful one of course let's i rent to a hall no park banquet hall uh back 4229 um park avenue on sir um 
heavenly jig decorations na omo abua na bibia aye kama kama ne kwan so ne kwan so em me pamo cho eni die mu kwan so menfa we ye de abusua me ankasa me abusua fo omo brooklyn and then omo se omo de yao ne areho e si adofu nyina ye se em ye ma me ye nana ye bibia ye de she ye de yao ne areho e si mo ye se ma me rose brentio boatin aya wo brooklyn em na se dodo na freno ma me abena edu chumwa ma me akan chinegu abra eduani esi suwa ya nunti ya diya ni arewo esi ya bushu ya fu nina se nyame ya jomwa um next weekend um if you had a day and you and a you have a pen or crab and i see a baby in a year cry and we're brooklyn me patch out your bed die and mommy and one as a funeral home a baby in a year two two zero zero uh claridon road i yeah a walk brooklyn nine two two zero zero claridon road now faces baby a better than cia you know that's also a year um 24th for now january 24th a year said max methodist church a war um two zero one seven Beverly Road, aya nusuwa Brooklyn wa ee nyumre non kono eko pim ee no pa no nae me pa cho ee bushinya ni adofu nyina munti na munche nisun na munyina mwme buwa ye na yempe ye mame ee du chun wa so ee chidi kura bre kura 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 ee nyami nshira bufinya ni adofu nyina se mwso mwba beta ye chi ne bibi aso so ebe ye kama jinyame african market jinyame african market me pa cho jinyame yansu ye diye niye hee ee pa ee ee duyane pa 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 ee free gana anase no me bia u u baby ya towo gana, me pacho gana, abe pim ewa hasi, e nwa ane mwa mwo ni ujesi ya si atadji wa si mate dende, me pacho mwuntu mri, kana mwufamu ni MH653 Hamilton Street ayye, ewa Somerset, Somerset ewa New Jersey, me pacho mwuntu mri ka mwuntu mri ka si si ye, bra, se ye bayre, se ye mwo, se ye tuwa se ye me pacho kehru, me pacho se ye nam, pe o pe bi, adjine ye pitri, me pacho mwuntu mri ka akrante, akrante, aponchi, aponchi pa pa pa, if ye die, me pacho mwuntu mri ka mwuntu mri ka mwuntu mri ka Aya wo Somerset, New Jersey. Me pa chou beti mi afre yen so so wo telephone number 6732. Um, zero nine nine one two three seven three two five zero nine nine one two three. Uh, mon frère, c'est si à na mombra na yenimo indiga kama kama. Et non, mani atete so ne bono efo na bibia so enye kama kama. Ya sa ya bebi ene ya di ya di papa pa e bremo. Call a friend and call to call a friend. Ne kacho mo se drive time show no atnasi kama kama. Oji ene ne dom ya atnasi mini bi bishop ene ma posto ya atnasi ne di na chese ene ya dege na ya dege na ya dege. Na ya dege. Ha. Hey. Yeba. Yebo. Yebo. Yeba. Yebe. Yebo. Oh, that's right. And ne, eh, yeah, ne. So the idea, I'm a muati asia no. Uh, me pa mo chow bi biya e eh, koso kama kama se si a ye ni mo kase ene so enyum re e na um, 2G awards um, 2G ene um, um, one dondi um, collaboration amu um, ye de um, awards night no um, lunch no ebro e wo New Jersey le ti mo mi ye nina ye fi ye ni enche New Jersey ene enyum re na yanko na yanko so bi biya ma enye fe kama kama pa ne kwa so bishop Yes, sir. Are you ready to deliver? Uh, with the help of God. Thank you. Amen. Apostle. Yes. Sir. Are you ready to deliver? With the help of God. My God, this. My God, this. We na Bruni Beres was ayakiti ayakata. The Lord is my strength. <laughs> Ayakiti ayakata Enti bibi abe koso ne kwanso Ne kwanso Me pa chow bebi a wubi a fwo ni Echle hasi na Yenfa Yenfa jumedi yeno embreo Kama kama Ne kwanso pepepe Sa ena efe Na chesi bibi a Aku yi ewo Ne kwanso ne kwanso Yo Yatas ni atinase Ene yasi ye kan bibi afa Looking at my position Looking at my position Looking at my educational level do I really have to consider all these before <laughs> um, I choose my partner? And I said, "Yem fanes a sa a sa a sa me pacho eno ehu jumane ne yatnasi ya ye babi di no enunti di di kanye aposto de de bi a una misu fio wa minisu oba una mi di kanye sa si efri oso mesra o se first question to yourself answer that question for me. Do you or will you consider your position as an apostle 
would you consider all the certificates you have acquired mm -hmm. before you choose a partner? I know Miss Irene Tutu is watching mm -hmm. and she, she would like to hear from you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Be straightforward. Yes or no? Would you consider it? Oh, no. No. Hey. <laughs> you don't care about your pastoral um, job. Uh, you know... <laughs> you don't care about that. You uh, don't care about your educational attainment. It depends on whom you are choosing as a life partner. Mm. His readiness, his readiness to learn. Mm. You first of all also looks looks at the causes of mm -hmm. her or him not matching up to you. Mm. You see how? Uh, you know. In life, others could not climb up in educational ladder to the highest level mm -hmm. for some various reasons. <coughs> others were willing, very willing, but it could be they lost their parents. Mm -hmm. It could be there was no one also yeah. to promote them, to help them mm -hmm. go to school. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, others also had opportunity mm. and they were not willing to learn. Mm. And so you look at it, uh -huh. if he or she is willing and mm. was willing and could not have the opportunity to go, then it is yes. Such a person, you can bring him or her up to your level because at every given point in time, he or she will be ready to learn. <laughs> But no mm -hmm. to the one who is not ready mm -hmm. to learn anything at all. To that person to be difficult to raise up to your level. I will come there. Anyone who is not ready at all yeah. to be trained or to learn. To, to, to be trained or to, to learn. Mm -hmm. With such difficult. person to be very difficult to go along with in life. And how would you how would you classify? How would you be able to identify that this person is not willing to learn? You will see clearly there are more examples to read. So the, give the, me those examples. I'm going to come back to you. <laughs> I'm going to come back to you. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. And there, and there, and there, and there. Mommy, call me Bishop. Now, I'm in it. <laughs> okay, and then you don't want to the other TBI or the Honyum, but just forgive me. Uh, I didn't think I would be shopping near Apostle Hona, but anyway, whatever music I'm playing today is about love because you're talking about love. Mm -hmm. And um, whenever I'm playing the music, I just would like you to um, get a context and the content of the yeah, music we are playing. Yeah. So don't say, say oh, I, oh, Bishop, Pana, mm -hmm. who are born in Miss Trouble. Don't misinterpret it. Thank you. Whatever music I play goes with the topic of discussion. Thank you. Bishop. Yes, sir. Will you <coughs> consider your doctoral position, your bishoporial position, your pastoral position, your academic attainments, and all those, the clerical position before choosing Mama Anna? Answer is no first and answer is yes, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you see, one thing I don't like about the two of you today, I just want to have opposite sides. Yeah, uh, actually, we will come there. <laughs> I, I, I will not go 100% mm -hmm. for yes, mm -hmm. neither will I go for 100% for no. 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 Okay, because. <laughs> At every circumstance or situation, mm. you have to assess things, as my brother said. Right. And secondly, we marry according to our vision. Mm. What do I have in life? What do I want to do? Mm. Do I need someone who will go with me where I'm mm. going? You take all this into consideration. And when we are talking about the educational level, Educational level can be a uh, uh, factor in, but it shouldn't be the gap because we have to be very careful about the gap as well. Mm. At least certain class you are and the type of person you are marrying, if the gap is too wide, we are not there yet, but at times you are looking for someone who can, whom you can reason with. Mm. 
if the person doesn't have it at all. We are talking about not as co-equal that mm -hmm. I, I, I have my master's, so you must also have your master's. Mm, that that is not what you, the gap. The, there could be educational gap, but you have to assess to what extent the person is her, him, or her is. You have to mm -hmm. take all this into consideration because of one where you are going. Very initially, it doesn't mean anything, but along the line, you will meet it on the way. So the, on the other hand. I'll speak for uh, uh, both positive and negative side of it, so that at least whoever is marrying will pick up a fraction from each side. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Bishop Alexander Dujemfi and Apostle TK. Um, Misha, Misha, Misha. I'm just trying to glance through what is what how um, comments are coming and some of the posts that I'm receiving as well. <laughs> today is today. And I know it's going to be one of the most competitive topics we are going to talk about this year. And um, it's going to be very educative as well. So please don't leave. Stay with us. Um, sorry to all those in Ghana. Most of them, um, especially those using MTN Network, um, for the past two, three days, I think there have been so many interruptions and um, disconnections as well. So we apologize for that, those in Ghana who are using MTN Networks. Uh, please uh, get other networks as well. I'm not campaigning for anybody. Or I'm not campaigning against any network. Just try to be part of today's show. If your Facebook is not responding correctly, you can also watch us live on YouTube at Dinkra Radio I did, sorry, I didn't TV NY, but all boy didn't TV now. I have for NY to us, so it can connect you straight forward to our channel. It's live over there. Um, so those of us who are not on Facebook can also watch us from there. And um, there are many of us too who are also listening to us through our radio station app. You can download our apps and be listening to us, or you can go to our website www.edinkraradiony.com. It's a special happy birthday to my wonderful daughter, um, Noella Abuajewa Asari. That's my wonderful daughter. Um, you can call her Ella for short. Um, it's a birthday today. I know wherever you are, Ella, you are having fun. Very soon I will celebrate you. I will play a very special music for you. Uh -huh. uh, back to the studios, my name is Uncle Penny Forso. We have all made our choices, mm -hmm. but it looks as if the choices are not too, too clear. That's right. Because according to our conviction, mm -hmm. I don't want to say something and eventually mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. on the line will listen to me and say, oh, mm -hmm. is that what you're trying to mean? Because of your conviction, mm -hmm. our faith. Right. Uh -huh. That but, is why. But generally, socially, mm -hmm. uh, openly, that I want us to, um, sometimes our viewers, our listeners, the thing is this, when we come here, um, do not use our words against us. We come to educate. We come to speak for everyone. We don't come here to speak for ourselves. Oh, all the time. Oh, Bishop Pano can't see. Bishop Ah, Bishop It's like going into a movie and be acting a role as a bishop. You so a bishop. Now call acting maybe as a pauper. And I say we a street boy be an be be a no, it's just because of the movie. Carry, take the message. Don't judge. That would be very important. Please, my dear wonder, wonderful listeners and viewers, thank you very much. Um, Apostle. Yes, sir. You were dicey. Yeah. Left or right? Uh, um, how do I justify that? Or how do you justify the point um, you just made? Um, proud to... Uh, the answer you gave me. You know, as I said earlier on, it mm -hmm. will depend on the person. Mm -hmm. One may be uneducated for now, or the educational gap between myself and my mm -hmm. partner will be too high. Mm -hmm. I, or I will go in for... It, it depending on the person's readiness. You look at the factors. That's right. What, <coughs> caused, what caused it? Mm -hmm. What is it at all that made his educational ladder so low him or her not being able to climb up you look at it was she ready or he ready to learn mm -hmm. did he ever even have the opportunity to go to school and he did or she did not did he even make it at all mm. because there are others from the initial stages they could not get the importance of education very well but later when they grew up they got to know and they were ready to learn and with a few years they will catch up right others were so others was like they also they don't want it at all 
mm-hmm. and they have grown with it mm-hmm. and they are not ready to learn. Right. With that class of people, that one, I will say no, in the sense that mm. they are the ones that will pose difficult for you. Whilst you are climbing up, they will push all load on you. And it will be difficult, if you're not careful, you regret of picking them as life partners. Oh. But if you, have, if you read between the lines and you realize that it is not his or her fault, but certain prevailing conditions did not allow him or her to have education. And so he or she is ready you to can learn. Take him or her to improve. You can take him or her to improve. Mm-hmm. And then you move on in life and it will be smooth. Oh, so yeah. sorry. So in this case, so um, you have not asked a question. Mm-hmm. Is what is, what is, what is your first question? Could My you? first question is uh-huh. either yes or no. Okay. And he said yes or no. And now my question is why yes or no? You have to justify. And I have justified. I have right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That is the explanation I have given. So if yes, that means you only picking somebody who is willing, willing to learn. To learn. Mm-hmm. If my level is higher mm. than the fellow, you, if yes, mm-hmm. it will be her readiness or to him learn. to learn. Mm-hmm. But if the person is not ready, if the person is not ready, it's no, new. in the sense that you put too much load on you and you have regrets later on of picking the person as a life partner, oh. depending on you, your level of higher level of education. Education. So it depends, yeah. Mm. Mm. So, uh, Bishop. By well, justifying his stance, like it could be yes, it could be no. He has given me reasons why he will go for yes or no answers. But in a way, if I heard him right, that means in neither ways he will consider his position or his educational level. In the sense that if somebody is willing to learn, that means you are willing to teach. That's right. And when there is a teaching and understanding and also practicing what you have learned, then we are talking about education. Yes. So in any case, he will consider his his position and his educational level before making a choice. That means upon what he has gone for, he will never go for a dump. <laughs> Bishop, back to you. Yes or no? How do you justify that? I will always choose according to my vision. Okay. Mm-hmm. How? Why? When you are courting with someone, you share ideas in common, you share visions in common. Okay. You 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 would like to know much about the woman, why her or the man, how his or her educational level is so low. Mm. She could give you some of the reasons, because I've seen someone who had married another a lady who had married a man and have been able to help the man to climb up to the top. Mm. So have I also seen someone who has also married a woman mm. and have been able to help the lady to climb up to the top. So true. It all depends on what, as, exactly as my brother said. Mm. But on the other hand, it depends on the the person has having the willingness mm-hmm. to learn, to learn yeah. and being obedient mm-hmm. unto you. Mm-hmm. When the person is not having the willingness to learn, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you know where you are going, because at times when the gap is too high, uh, too wide, and the other person is not willing, it makes the understanding level a little bit distant, and he's okay. not able to uh, contribute the level that you want. To. Mm. And you wouldn't want at times to discuss certain issues whereby the gap between you and your partner is too high or why to understand that always some somebody outside is the one that you share ideas and cool. Okay. So these are some of the major factors that everyone is looking for someone. Mm-hmm. Not as high as mine, but mm-hmm. somewhere you have met me you have met me halfway mm. or desiring to when you meet someone I'm talking about progressive, someone mm. desiring to increase mm-hmm. where wherever he is. Mm-hmm. It helps. We all started from somewhere else. So I would, 100% says, I would not look 100% because of that. But on the other hand, due to where I am going out of communication, I may be able to help you or you will be able to help me climb up to wherever that I'm going to. Okay. So now if I had you right, um, you are a bishop. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't become a bishop from the before, scratch. Uh-huh, before, before well, yeah, before you got married, before becoming a bishop, but you have a vision, like that's you right. said. That's right. You consider your I vision. I keep improving and, and, and that's mm-hmm. right. Educating myself. Okay, Let, let's take it like you, 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 you were not, you are not married mm-hmm. for now. Mommy, my glad is a bishop. 
with all due respect, no with all your indulgence, <laughs> no offense, no hard feelings, please. Um, take it like you're single now. Mm. At this stage, mm. you being a bishop, mm. you being a doctor, you attaining all Sen these. Uh, uh, still single. Still single. Yeah. Would you mm -hmm. consider that? That one. Your, your, your level, mm -hmm. your educational level, your mm -hmm. position, mm -hmm. and all your attainment before making a choice. I'll take certain things into consideration. Mm -hmm. Certain things like what, if I may know? If the person understands uh, my vision, mm -hmm. because if, let's even assume, mm -hmm. calling me as a bishop mm -hmm. before marrying, mm -hmm. meaning, that it, it, meaning that I've been called by God and I need to do the work of God, right. I will not 100% look mainly on just education only as my basis to marry the person. Okay. I'll take so many factors into consideration. As the person believe the faith that I have, mm -hmm. the person is able to read and write, mm -hmm. at least uh, to a certain level. Because anytime you talk about education, are you talking about to what level? Mm -hmm. Does that mean that there's a gap between you and that person? The level mean, mean it a lot. For someone having an O level and a, a university degree, it, at least he has come somewhere he, he, he or she can read or understand certain things. Mm -hmm. But if you are talking about not knowing how to read or write, mm -hmm. I'm talking about the gap. Right. So, I don't know the gap that we are talking about. Mm. So, at times, it makes it very hard right. for you to say yes mm. or no. Okay. If you know the gap, right. I don't know. Similarly, like someone at the age of 50 marries someone at the age of 20. Someone at the age of 50 marries someone at the age of 40. Mm -hmm. the, the gap difference will at times determine. So, educational gap, I don't know to what extent are you talking about. But... If someone has his or her master's, mm. well, I'm, let me use, and someone has finished first degree, mm -hmm. I don't have any problem. Or even SS, and the person is brilliant for whatever reason, mm. she couldn't even have someone to help her to go further. But she has some qualities be, besides the highest educational level. She has some qualities that I think mm. will make me more happy. Right. And it will be able to submit and mm. also support the vision that I have. Right. I may go for such a person and help her to climb up. Mm. Okay, I think you have something in addition. Yeah. Or better. In my earlier submission, <laughs> what I said was that it mm. depends on the person you choose. Okay. You, your educate for instance, as I said now, mm -hmm. um, I'm not married, mm -hmm. and I'm not. I'm now coming in. Uh, I'm now going to make a choice. I will look at the person as I said. He, her readiness. Mm. You get it. The type of the kind of person she is and her readiness mm -hmm. to learn would determine whether okay. I will go in for her mm -hmm. or I will drop her along the line. Quick question to mm -hmm. that before I move on to the next thing on board. Um, okay, your position mm -hmm. as a man of God, mm -hmm. a preacher, mm -hmm. a servant of God. Mm -hmm. People know you for who you are and what you do. Okay, now you are single. Yeah. You meet somebody on the street. Mm -hmm who is, let's say, like um, a pauper or a prostitute. Let us let me take it that way. A prostitute. Yeah. She's willing to change. Yeah. But everybody knows her to be a prostitute. Yeah. She can read and write. Mm -hmm. She shares some visions with mm -hmm. you. Would you go that, for such a person? That, that, <laughs> that, 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 is, where, uh -huh. that is where, if you feel that mm -hmm. connection, mm -hmm. you and the person jellies together, mm -hmm. you jelly, and the connection is there. That's where you, the compatibility. That is where you find out what prompted her or what led her into that kind of prostitution. Mm. And is she willing to come out? Will she not go back? Having having gone through or having seen, being able to read all this, mm. you will know that indeed, fine, it was out of circumstances that pushed her into it. Mm. She's changed. Come bring her. And really, with you going on along with her, mm -hmm. you know clearly that indeed she has changed, ready to pick up. Mm -hmm. You know, she's backing up. So, you know, everything you tell her, she does it. She's flowing in the faith. And you could see clearly that with time, even her level, I mean, she's maturing up to your level. Mm -hmm. There is nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. I will choose it. You choose it. Because in that. life, the mm -hmm. most important thing is that mm -hmm. those that you'll be able to, you know, you, you, you live and then feel comfortable and happy. Is the one that you have to go is for. Is the one that you go for. Wonderful. Because we have a lot of comparisons to make. Mm. Look at us and look at God, Christ. 
we don't we were clothes. stinky smelling kind of people yet he came in the sight us. of god but he because we were ready to learn he came down to our level taught us mm. went back mm. and some of us have come up to that level that he wants mm -hmm. you see others haven't yet he still loves them yes he still loves them that is him he still loves them right. so that is it so that's why i said it depends on the breadiness of the third person mm. you are choosing uh, An addition. okay i'm using mine as a living testimony okay let's go Daddy. my wife mm. how i came to have contact with her mm. her mother was my prayer partner wow in my previous church mm. At that time, she was not in New York. She was in Massachusetts. I'm talking about the 90s. Who's there? Who's okay. There? Living with her other family members over there. But the only church she was attending over there was Latter-day Saint. Wow. Not a Christian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she happened to come and visit her Today mother. is more reverent. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Interesting. Uh, meaning, me, that time the mother had already fallen in love with me because of my style of praying and my commitment to the mm -hmm. things of God. Mm. And I remember the mother made a certain request. Mm. Reverend, I have a daughter who is mm. now at the age of 24, 25. Mm. I'm talking about the 90s. Right. Would you desire to take her as a wife for me so that you can nurture her? and become like you. Mm -hmm. really? The mother invited the girl to come mm -hmm. without telling her that he's giving her, he's giving her to somebody mm -hmm. just to come and visit her in New York and come to church. To make a long story short, she mm -hmm. came. At that day, I was what, the one preaching in that church. Hey, my God. Then the mother, after preaching and everything, the mother went to me and said, how do you see this, this man? man. Personally, it's a communication. Oh. Yeah. She says it's she not bad. You understand it? Right. Then the mother started communicating with her and communicating with me. Eventually, she fell, love, she fell in love with me. Mm -hmm. When I first met her, we were communicating. My first thing that I asked her, is she a Christian? Where does she go to church? She openly told me that this is where I go to church. Mm -hmm. I said that I want to marry according to my vision. Eventually, I know what the Lord is going to use me to do. Right. But with the ministry that you are in will not help me if I want to work with you. Would you be able to change that ch church and accept the Lord as your personal savior and come to the faith that I am in? First statement that I said, I don't know if you are willing to teach me, I will surely do it. That's what she said. I don't know if you are willing to teach me, I will surely learn. Wow. Instantly, because she came to New, moved to New York and came and looked for a job at Hospital for Joint Diseases, Second Avenue, 18th Street. Started going to House of Faith Ministries, Resurrection Power, mm -hmm. anywhere that she would learn the word and grew up in the Lord. I saw 20, that she, she was, was willing. She was 25 at that age. Yeah, she was willing to learn. Mm -hmm. And that really meant a lot to me. Mm -hmm. So to make the long story short, it took her two years or three years. Then after that, yeah. we decided that mm -hmm. where she has come, now we can move on. Mm -hmm. And it all depends on exactly what he said. Mm -hmm. Initially, when I met her, she was not already made. Mm -hmm. I repeat, she was not already made. Christian, I'm talking about that. Mm -hmm. But she was willing to learn. Yeah. And out of that, yeah. look at what had come yeah. out of. Now she's he bishop. has been a great now support. She's a bishop Wa. Yes, yes. She's bishop not, Wa not really <laughs> Bishop Wa, but I'm talking about oh. she has been a great asset to my ministry. Okay. A very great supportive okay. um, vessel to me. Okay. All because of willingness yeah. to learn. To learn. Thank you very much. I think today we are all learning here, and I really appreciate the 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 the, the, the outcomes. Um, the so so far so good. The suggestions, the submissions are excellent, and um, 
I think a lot of people are watching. People mm. are watching. People are enjoying so much. There's a funny comment. <laughs> God bless you, Daddy. Uh, he said, "No, my ears are widely open." Joyce Bar, hope you are listening. Uh, this one is coming from Patience. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go straight. Today is not too much of a music thing. We are educating, so um, we just bring the music just to warm us up because it's really cold and chilly outside. Um, I think it's about 22 degrees outside. Um, be careful wherever you are. Roads are very slippery and a lot of accidents, so much. In fact, on my way coming here, I saw over 70 accidents, car crashes, wow. Wow. car crashes. It's so, so terrible. So please, if you are driving on highways, local ways, just be careful because it's terrible. Your life is so much important than you being rushy to arrive at your destination. It's better late than never. So please slow down, slow, slow, slow down and don't rush into a hasty end. That wouldn't end well. And we would like to see you alive. And we would like to have you all around us all the time. So, my dear lovers, keep the focus. Stay calm. Stay slow. It's better to get there late than to never, ever reach your destination. God loves you. And we love you more. Back to the studios. Your choices are made. Explanations given. Perfect conclusions. I like that. But the next thing is, if I consider my position, my educational level, first before making a choice do you think i'll be making some mistakes or i'll be making mistakes and if i'll be making the mistakes what are some of the very dangers associated with that um i am using my position i am using my credentials my attainments just to make a choice i am the president of the country i'm making a choice i need a first class woman i need an educated woman I need this kind of lady to marry. Are there some are there some consequences with that? Some dangers to that, Apostle? Yeah, there, I will say um, there are some dangers that goes with that. Mm. You know, positions mm -hmm. are positions. Mm. Let me see. Positions are places where something is located mm. or has been put. Mm. in relations to others. Mm. And so you have been positioned somewhere in relations to others. If you are not careful, and then you allow that to eat too much into your head, mm. pride will set in. That is when you refuse to come down mm. to find out mm. about causes of people, causes, you know, things that they not really help other people to climb up to your level mm -hmm. and how best you'll be able to bring them up also to your level. Okay. There are said pride was set in, in, in the sense that if you climb up to the highest level, mm -hmm. you should be able to deliver, teach. Okay. But if you are not able and you are not ready to teach, that is where you realize that you make a mistake, you go in for someone mm -hmm. Who does not match up to you? Mm -hmm. The fellow may have educational qualities, all right, ed in ed education wise, mm -hmm. all right, but he or she will not satisfy you emotionally, psychologically, mentally, physically, and spiritually. She may not have good speech. You may not know, well educated, all right, but may not have good speech. Mm -hmm. And you may not like it because you are looking at that side, only education alone. Or your position. Or your position. Okay. So that is what you know. As my position, I must have a woman or a man who also have a top class, a top person. class mm. position. And you have not put in all these things into without, consideration. Without talking about love. Without talking about love. Without even knowing whether the person loves you. Affection. Affection. Mm -hmm. Has deep feeling and understands you mm -hmm. very well. Okay. And will know your weakness and go on with you in life. So true. So if you allow that, mm. you make a big mistake. Wonderful. And the impact will be so great that you won't get to your destination, you will fall. So you look out for someone who really understands you, mm. who loves you, mm. ready to give, Otto. 
respect to you, ready to share with you, who has got good speech, and who really understands your office, and ready to support you. Mm-hmm. A wonderful one, of course, coming from Apostle Tinkrai, TK for short. And I know wherever you are, you are just enjoying this. Another one special birthday to my wonderful daughter, um, Ella. I know you are enjoying this program or you're watching me from anywhere. Um, even if you're having fun, just remember that it loves you so much. Bishop. Yes, sir. He has said some, a lot. And um, I don't know if you still share the same idea with him. Are there any side effects? Any effect? Should I consider myself, my position, my level of education, my attainment, my credentials, my achievements? Even, you know, sometimes when we're talking about this, even the, your, your, the money in your account even sets in. <laughs> Do yeah. I have to consider all these yeah. before? Um, I kind of say, oh, we need me doba or something. Yeah, <clears throat> let me come in here. Mm. Choosing someone mm. who is equally educated as you mm. has both good and negative effects. Wow. Positive and negative, negative effects. I will never tell you not to choose someone who is educated mm. just because of the negative side of it. Mm. Because temperament also counts. Mm. But let's first look at the positive before we look into the, neg- the negative side of it. Mm. Choosing someone who is somehow educated as you. Mm-hmm. Number one, some people believe that equality matches. Anytime the person is equal in certain language or wisdom, one, it helps you to match up with the person. That is why some people choose people who are educated as them so that mm-hmm. they can reason together. Okay. Not especially, it also increases your confidence level. Whenever you are going somewhere with, with that partner, a husband or wife, mm-hmm. especially meeting a classmate, right? Uh-huh. Equality matches. There are some people who have made certain choices when they are going certain certain class of people. They always leave their partner home mm. and say that my partner is sick, knowing that the partner is sick. But at time they think that he will not match up. Mm. At time people also choose some people who are highly educated due to the level of the understanding. When oh. someone is somehow a little bit educated, you are able to reason out with a the person. There are others to the uh, uh, lack of education, mm-hmm. their understanding perspectives, you know. I, uh, it makes sense. I hope you understand what I'm talking yes. about. Mm. And people also choose, third point, mm-hmm. people who are highly educated as them due to what they want to accomplish in life. Right. There are certain things when you want to accomplish, you need someone who is a little bit also knowledgeable to be able to stand with you. Other than that, when the gap is too wide, the support that you need from the other partner may not be able to come as you want to because of the educational gap. When it's too wide, mm. let me use the word. Some people also say that point number four, the whole reason why they choose people who are educated as them is that it makes life easier for them. It makes life easier, easier for, for them. It makes life easier, easier. easier for them. What do they mean? It speeds up their vision. Mm. Number two, it makes their partner able to fit in in whatever that they are doing. I mean, their partner is able to fit in. Maybe less even as the person's pharmacist. Mm-hmm. And the other part, the person doesn't even know how to mention in a, a name of a medicine. Mm. I'm talking about the guy. That's right. How do you even employ your You own? can't even make pronunciations. Uh, how do you even allow your partner to work in the same store so that they both of you to so always, you need other person to come in. And pay the person. Uh, others also say that when you choose someone a little bit or highly educated as you mm. or somewhat educated as you, one major partner, one major advantage is that it helps you, the person, not allowing the burden, financial burden, always to be on your side alone. Some presume that education level also allow the person to get a kind of job to be able to support you. Other than that, the financial independence will, uh, burden will always fall upon the one who works at the breadwinner. That is one of the major reasons why some people do that. On the other hand, with all these 
positive that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. It also has its respective negatives. Okay. Choosing someone equally mm -hmm. highly educated as you, especially when the man or the woman is equally educated as you. If mm -hmm. I'm not afraid, there are a lot of divorces that wherever uh, that we are talking about in our days, which normally come from that particular area. A lot of divorces because why am I saying that? Because both parties are headstrong. Okay. They are head self well. They are obstinate. Because when a woman has her master's or doctorate and a man has his doctorate, mm -hmm. at times some people, because of the level of their education, they are not willing to cook. They are not willing to do certain things. They are not willing to submit. Submit submit them so be submissive to you. So it makes it very hard. And that is the only place where people always speak their mind. Always speaks their mind. And it doesn't help. And choosing someone equally, another major major negative effect is that um, they, they, they have, let me use that, they, are, they have their knowledge right. Mm -hmm. Always they want to speak their mind. You don't see the submissiveness from one party to the other because of the level of the education. They will not agree with you on certain issues and eventually, if care is not taken, they always impose their opinion. They always, but when the educational level there's a little bit gap, it helps the other person to always submit to the other person. It also makes some people the demanding from the each side become too strong to understand that at times, because I don't depend on you, you don't depend upon me. Mm -hmm. I can choo choose to find my own way, and yet right. we'll be living in both marriage. Mm -hmm. We see that thing mainly at uh, in, in marriage. Oh, okay. Yes. So. It has its negative effect, as exactly as you are saying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes one is unsubmissive to the other. So true. Sometimes, because uh, because of self dependence, because without you, I can take care of myself. That is how some men or some women think. Without you, I can take. Because at least I'm a nurse. Right. At least I, I, I'm also a medical doctor. I will mm. not sit down for you to control me. I so, will not sit down for mm. you to. That that only comes in when the person thinks he's co equal right. with you as long as financial and educational wise. It makes it very hard for you to for them to take your advice. And with my few years in ministry, one of the major areas that which I have seen a lot of people is when either both of them have education or the woman has more education than the man. You don't see the submissiveness even in the marriage mm -hmm. it makes it very hard for one to control the other or for a woman to submit su submit herself even into for, for the man <sighs> hey <laughs> Okay. This is the Drive Time Show. Live on Adinkra Radio NY. This show comes on your this and every Saturday, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. sharp. And today, as you see, would you ever consider your educational position? Or your educational status before making a choice in terms of partnership. Come for uh, 14 February of uh, February 14th is a singles and the mingles night. If you're married, if you're single, Valentine Day has come. Oh, yet at the corner, and Joba Productions, Edinkra Radio. Having legit decorations, all in collaboration, bringing you a night of love. Celebrating a beautiful night together, whether you are single, married, or you are ready to mingle. Come, let's find some beautiful, interesting scenes and moments together. Let's share together. Just go to Eventbrite right now. 
and just get your ticket now the singles and the mingles night oh, oh the program shall be held at um 4229 park avenue be part of it 7 p.m sharp the program starts we end at 1 a.m it's gonna be a friday night oh, thank you very much so baby but like the decorations park banquet hall health and Magic decorations mendy Alta hotel the mascotech music promotions Jinya me african re- african market oh our dear wonderful supporters my name is Excellency, the microphone president OG. Back to the studios and let's see what happens again. My able men are here. Okay, let's back up again. Um, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> that was a quick commercial break. Uh, near the brand, we say you know. Um, I think looking at the comments that I come in, definitely I might have to. Um, open the phone line so I can also welcome some ideas along the line. Sure. So those of us um, who are willing to phone in, please. Um, unfortunately, you can only call us on WhatsApp. So if you don't have WhatsApp, you can be, you can contribute to this. So if you have WhatsApp, then we shall activate the phone line so you can call us on WhatsApp. WhatsApp calls only. WhatsApp calls only. Please, you're going to call us on nine one seven three four zero seven seven four four nine one seven three four zero seven seven four four and um we shall connect you to be part of today's edition this is the first time we are opening phone lines for other people's um ideas mm. okay now my next question mm-hmm. my next question apostle are you ready for me yes yeah. are you sure sure mm-hmm. <laughs> my next question is um i'm a man looking like um talking about the positions and all these that we are going through right now um so, um some people actually do not want to if being a man or a woman they don't want to marry people they share the same level of education or position with i believe you have encountered such since before mm-hmm. oh i want somebody who I, I will take some comments from Facebook very soon. This is how it goes. Oh, I think I need a man who is a, a little higher in education or a little higher in position than myself. Oh, no. I want a woman who is also higher in education or in position than myself. Mm-hmm. Why do you think some people make this, this is, set decisions? Like, I... Why? Why? E- they don't want to go equal yeah. or below. The they re- want people ahead, ahead, ahead of them. Or they don't. Yeah. Uh, your question again. Why do people won't won't go for people? people they don't want to go for people they, of the same level. Level. They don't want that. Okay. 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 It's either they want to go for people low. who are lower or higher than them. The men usually want people who are below their belt, mm-hmm. and the women also want people who are above their belt. I don't know if you understand my question now. I understand your question. Um, Do we have... Wh- why? You, you are not making such a decision, though. But mm. some people have th- that kind of perception, that view. Mm. Why do you think people make kind of make such um, decisions? People may make such kind of decisions mm. because, um, one, they might think that if they go in for someone who matches up with them, the respect mm-hmm. that, you know they deserve or need will not be given. Mm. Good point. The respect they need will not be given. Mm. So, you know, they will not go in for somebody who is equal in terms mm. of education with them. And sometimes even in terms of uh, finances, money with them. Mm. Two. Mm. Two. And people will also not pick up those who are the same level with them because they feel they will not submit. They will not be submissive? Yes, they will be submissive to them. Oh. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. So this is one of the reasons. Yeah. They might not get the respect. Yeah, I feel they, they might need. not get the respect they need. Mm. Because you know what I know. 
okay. and you are at the same level. Hmm. When I'm going to board meetings, you also be going to board meetings. So you will not respect me. Yes, in the me, same salary as the myself. Same salary as myself and all that. If you I can afford whatever I can afford. afford, what I can afford so, so you don't lose anything even when you lose me. Yeah. Human but you lose the love. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's why I said earlier on that um, if if you choose based on this alone, your your educational position alone, mm. you will miss out great things in life. Mm. Mm-hmm. I understand. Makes sense. Yeah. Bishop. Yes, sir. You ready for me? Sure. Okay. I want a woman who is a little below my status, educationally, financially, and uh, position-wise. I want a man who is above my status in these three angles or these two angles. Why do you think people make such decisions? People make such decisions, especially men want someone Mm. that educationally, they are somehow a little above the woman. Mm. Women also want someone educationally a little above them mm. so that, number one, it will bring respect within the marriage. Mm. Number two, my brother had already said them, it brings submission. Mm. It allowed the man to exercise his authority as a man in the marriage. Mm. Very important. Okay. Number three, because submission is very needed in marriage. Mm. And submission normally comes when the woman can look up to the man. Mm. But, but so uh, I'm not cutting you short. I'm sorry for the interruption. So you think that if a woman is above mm-hmm. you, the man, positionally and that of um, um, educationally, mm-hmm. um, there there will be less submission. Yeah, to me, greater percentage that I've seen. Mm. When a woman has a highest uh, uh, education higher than education ladder, ladder higher than the man, at times when we are talking about genuine mm. submission, mm. it's one out of ten. Okay, it's one out of ten. Mm. It, it always make the woman always dictating to the man. Oh, I see. And such a person, if care is not taking, even when you want to even have something to do with the woman at night. It is the woman who decides when to have that. When to have that, because oh. so many things the woman would take for you, because she's above you. She's above you, and such a person at time, if care is not taken, she will also be bringing. She becomes somehow like breadwinner. She will be bringing money because mm. of the, her job or her position. Okay. It makes you the man become like a woman in the relationship, and the woman becomes a man. But if what we are saying, all things being right, and the man is a little bit higher, mm. I'm not saying the woman is not educated, he's educated, but the woman, man is a little above them, both age and also education-wise. Mm. One of the things that I've seen is that it allows you to see submission in the marriage, especially from the part of the woman. Mm. Number two, it allows the woman to be somehow obedient. Mm-hmm. Number three, for the sake of it allowed the woman always to seek for peace for the sake of the marriage. And number four, mm. it allowed the man to be a boss in the marriage because always a man always want to be the head in the marriage. Mm-hmm, yeah. And those things, your headship will only come mm. when the woman can look up to you. If you are the one bringing more money in at home than the, than the man, the woman many a times Mm. And repeat one out of ten. Women would take the manhood, your masculinity from you, mm. uh-huh. because they think that she, she thinks that she's bringing more than you do. I'm not saying all women. I say one out of ten. Out of ten, yeah, not every woman. Not every woman, mm. but most especially, it allowed the woman at times to impose their will even in the marriage. So once a man has a little bit of education than you, or somewhat financially sound than you. We see submission in the marriage. And not only that, it minimizes even fight in the marriage. Mm. It less mini- conflict. Less conflict. Mm. It brings less conflict because the woman look up to you. Mm. How, how is she going to contend mm. with you? So when the woman, uh, uh, when is the other way around, there is too much conflict. That's right. 
because she's been feeding Especially you. Especially when the woman is self-dependent. Hmm. Though he's in a marriage, she but doesn't she can... need your dime. Yeah. And at times they speak their mind over quack and all those things. It b- and not only that, it brings less misunderstanding because mm-hmm. submission is there. Mm-hmm. So she will not be arguing with you on so many other issues. And it becomes one party rule relationship. It's the man that ruled and the woman ruling. <laughs> but certain marriage, it becomes two party rule. Okay, so in this case, before you explain that, don't you think also if the man has that the, the, the autocratic power or the the power um, is going to be more of dictatorship. Yeah, yeah. with that one, but mm-hmm. women are not bothered when a man is dictating, but men are bothered when a woman is dictating. So we should always go the men way. <laughs> because that is how God created it, that mm-hmm. man should be the head. Of the family. Women, when you dictate for them, uh, uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't bother them because generally they know. Though it, it's not how it's supposed to go, but the point is, it doesn't bother a woman much than bothering yeah, a, a man, man when yeah. you are dictating for a man to the, man. Hmm. To the woman a, a man and a man hmm. that was it. Oh. and uh, the point the sixth point is that when a man is a little higher hmm. and so many other things and they, they're submissive in the marriage it's hard for people to hear your issues outside but when a woman is co-equal uh, yeah. or mm. higher than higher than you People always hear you. Always. <laughs> Social media. Yeah. On the streets. No, uh, no. In the house. Sharing mm-hmm. your, your uh, the, the man's problem with the siblings and other stuff. Mm-hmm. In in other ways, it doesn't allow some of the friends or family members of the women even to respect you. Mm-hmm. But when a woman look up to you and depend upon you, hardly would she share pr- certain things about you because you are the lord of the house. That's right. So she is not going to sell you a chinadi and obedi. She's thinking about tomorrow and you are the one taking care of the family. Mm-hmm. And so eventually you mm-hmm. see submissiveness and you she doesn't share some things outside. At times she would rather prefer swallowing and pray with you and pray for you than. But when a woman is self-dependent and can take care of herself as equally educated as you, you share with other people and mm-hmm. even find every means to work you out because she can take care of herself. Mm. So that is also another side effect about that. And such marriages often doesn't last, uh, last longer. That is one of the um, effects of marrying someone. Um, Hi. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it, it lasts longer. <laughs> uh, one of the major effects of one. Um, Let me take this message real quick mm-hmm. as a rebuttal to. I think that a lot of women are trying to rebut what you're saying, I and um, <laughs> they are I not in support of what you're saying. They mm-hmm. they're trying to kind of counter. Um, learn the difference between connection. I'm not saying all women. I yes, some. <laughs> they still even if it's even one. In the whole world, they still don't agree with you. You know, women are always that kind of. <laughs> All right, learn the difference between connection and attachment. Connection gives you power. Attachment sucks the life out of you. This one is coming from Gigi. Thank you very much, Gigi. And um, <laughs> um, let um, women speak on their part. Okay, this one is coming from Gertrude. And um, another one, we are bored when a man dictated for us. Okay, <laughs> coming from Gertrude. Margaret, I'm um, also saying from London, saying, oh, well, I agree with you, Bishop. There is no boss in relationship. So, Bishop, don't say that. <laughs> Gertrude saying this, there's no boss. Uh, I don't agree with you, coming from Gertrude. How are you going to learn from your partner? How are your partner going to learn from you? One of you should have a higher education mm-hmm. level. Mm-hmm. Thank you. This is coming from Angela. Mm-hmm. And that is African mentality, my mm-hmm. bishop. Some men don't like when a woman is higher than them. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this is coming from patience. Um, one of the others should have a higher education. Okay. This is a repetition. And um, um, higher education gives a person financial stability. Mm-hmm. At least. That is what a lot of people think. Mm-hmm. So everyone wants financial stability. Mm-hmm. So when... Um, women, so we women especially want someone who is highly educated. Okay, right. thank you very much, Gertrude. And um, 
Um, okay, okay, okay. I think um, the messages are too much, so mm-hmm. I'll be picking out of. Okay. Mm, I'm making some random picks. Okay, most of the top class people even don't know how to pray. Mm-hmm. And even don't believe in God mm-hmm. because of their class. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. need to pray before we go in That's for right. such a person. This one is coming from Margaret, mm-hmm. um, London. Mm-hmm. Okay. Bishop, true, they leave their partners at home or in the name of jobs or work or be, uh, their positions because um, they think they don't fit where they are going to because they are low class. Mm-hmm. This one is coming from Joyce Barr. That was Good the speech. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. First Affection comment. is very important. Okay, thank you very much. Um, okay, 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 thank you very much, OG. Uh, it's knows it's not a little bit, I don't know where you are, which part of New York you are. Um, but patience, it was a heavy snow, it's still going to snow till I think 8 or 9 p.m. tonight. So, um, we have a little break, it's going to rain, and then the, and the snow will come back. So, wherever you are, make sure you stay alert. It's going to snow, it's a snowstorm. Yes, your mommy indeed is a, a great blessing, not only to you, daddy, but to us. Your story has actually in, inspired us from nowhere to somewhere, um, from no one to someone. God is a miraculous God. Yeah. Patience, Anthony. God bless you, daddy, for sharing. We are blessed by this. More grace, my bishop. I don't know. I think your fan, uh, they are forming a Dinkra club in your church. And mm-hmm. <laughs> whenever you are alive, they are alive too. Yeah, they will yeah, stay yeah. To you, with you till you go. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you very much. I hope a lot of messages and I'll be, like I said, let me take the last one before I go. That is why some men go about flirting when they are in their power, uh, when they are in power, either financially or educationally. Gone are the days of our mothers and grandmothers. And I'm not saying women should be disrespectful or should not be submissive, but it is good you are up and doing as a woman and have your mother in highest educational level they could attend. Thanks very much. I'm enjoying your show. Patience, Anthony. Thank you very much, Patience. Bishop, yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So if you can conclude before I move on to the next question. Because Actually, you... I have concluded. I'm, I was talking about... Mm. Why mm. um, you were giving, uh, you were asking for the effect, and yeah, I gave the yeah. positive effect. Effects and the negatives. Uh, mm. But the negatives one I didn't. Mm. With the positive one, I said that it helps. Um, it makes it very nice, good combination because when a man is a little bit higher, it brings a kind of submissiveness even in the marriage. Mm. I said it earlier. When a man is a little bit higher than the woman in educational level. It brings obedience, submission, and all these things. It allows the man to be the head even in the marriage. Mm. Maybe I use the word boss. It allowed the man being a head in the marriage um, to, to, to be seen. Mm. And number four, I, I said that it minimizes the conflict in the marriage mm. because women will always submit in such a marriage. And number five, I said it brings understanding and takes away the misunderstanding. For whatever reason, because of the level of distance, at times such women normally submit. If Even when they see that the man is angry, they let things go. And number six, uh, I also said that it, such marriages last longer. And such marriages, women don't sell their partners outside. But marriages whereby the man, woman is as equal as the man or higher, highly educated than the man, such issues goes out and so many other conflicts. Yeah, I was going to come there. Mm-hmm. Um, that was going to be my next question. Okay, then I would go there. Yes, um, if the, you, you get married to somebody who is way higher than you educationally, like for instance, um, let's say somebody has his doctorate degree mm-hmm. or somebody has attained a lot of achievement so far as education is concerned, then the person is married to uh, maybe SHS or high school liver mm-hmm. or somebody mm-hmm. who has no mm-hmm. education at all, mm-hmm. an illiterate, mm-hmm. but the person is still willing. Mm-hmm. There's love, full mm-hmm. connection. That's right. The affection is there. Mm-hmm. The submissiveness is there. Mm-hmm. Okay. The humility is there. Mm-hmm. The respect is there. And I get married to you. Do you think there are some possible consequences or some effects to that. Ma, uh, you, you, know, you are talking about uh, educational gap. Educational gap, when it's too wide. It's too wide. Yes, okay. there are negative consequences. Yeah, we've talked about that. We, we said that earlier on, 
But mm-hmm. uh, one thing we have to understand is that when two people are coming together mm-hmm. in marriage, mm-hmm. we're supposed to put everything aside. That's right. Mm-hmm. Put uh, education, finances, whatever it is, mm-hmm. you put everything aside. You empty yourself. Then the two can come. That's right. Mm-hmm. Together mm-hmm. as one to build. Mm-hmm. So it is no longer a matter of I am this, I am contributing more, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm doing this, and you are not doing anything, and right. you are not supporting me. No. The, mm-hmm. when the, if the willingness to submit, to learn, and to adjust goes on, is there, mm-hmm. the two puts everything aside, come together, and then build. That is where you want to read. That's what we talked about. Okay. Said it depends on where you are going. You are going. Okay. All right, then let me go to this question. Mm-hmm. Please. But let me come in here. With the yeah. negative effect of when the gap is too wide, mm-hmm. I, maybe I can contribute on this. The negative effect of it is mm-hmm. that, especially when someone is a medical doctor mm-hmm. and the wife is a trader, mm-hmm. maybe initially when you married a man who was not a medical doctor, mm-hmm. but through your support, doing home care and living, put the man to become a medical doctor. Mm-hmm. When they attain such a height and the guy become I and you, the woman, doesn't improve yourself, it also has some consequence too. I'm talking about mm-hmm. such a gap. The gap. At times, I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about why certain people do certain things. Okay. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense. I, I feel you. And at times, when you say this, um, people get offended. But let's face the reality, because we are trying to bring out why certain people do certain things. Mm-hmm. The, some of the negative effects is as follows. Number one, some men. Once they have attained that height, they feel uncomfortable to introduce their partners to their classmates, especially on certain occasions. Mm. They will leave the woman home and they end up... You are go- not my level. Uh-huh. They end up taking another person. Side chicks. Side chicks. To <laughs> certain <laughs> meetings and conferences. Right. I don't know whether you understand where, where, where mm-hmm. I'm coming, coming from. Yeah, some pastors even do that a lot. Because some the pastor- wife, they don't even know how to sing. Mm-hmm. So this is the singing lady. He has she has been singing at church. She knows really. Oh, with that one, for, uh, he, he, goes a gift. he goes everywhere. She goes with with a singer mm-hmm. because my wife doesn't know how to sing. Mm-hmm. So now most of the pastors' wives are doing, going through voice trainings. Mm-hmm. That's the, <laughs> the new revolution. They are backing up. <laughs> they are backing up. With, with that one, uh, no, I'm just making a joke. Uh, okay, <laughs> because of mm-hmm. that. Um, mm-hmm. Some men or some people feel uncomfortable taking their partner to certain places mm. because at times they forget that it's the woman that also or the man that helped him or her to climb up to that ladder mm. and it's no good. And later they, they see themselves or they see their partner as a match mm-hmm. to them. Another major consequence is that it makes you, the woman, becomes insecure mm-hmm. when insecurity you are in a real uh-huh, insecurity setting. Okay. If you are married to someone when the gap is too wide, always going to conferences and all those stuff, not including you, if care is not taken, it brings insecurity, even in the marriage. Okay. Some men, women also too, uh, feel uncomfortable and being intimidated when even the man goes somewhere with what what hair because mm-hmm. of certain introduction. Hello, this is my wife. I'm, I'm talking right. about and I'm talking about the language difference and other stuff mm-hmm. when the, the other person cannot push up. At times, when your partner is even going somewhere, you don't want to go with, with it, yeah. because you don't want to go and embarrass yourself. Right. That is when the self-improvement comes, comes in. in. That's right. You pick someone who is ready to improve him or herself. When he is going climb up with, he, he, with, with, with him, him or her. With, with him don't or stay her. in that yeah. place for the only one side what, to go. One side. So I'm not saying becoming what is what we no, is. Mm-hmm. But, but you can still, a little bit improve yourself. Yes, you can improve yourself. Mm-hmm. Because you've married for about 20 to 30 years. You are not reading. You are not doing anything. You are not improving yourself. Maybe you are not dressing well to the taste of the partner. She tells mm-hmm. you, or he tells you, this is where I go. You so that's my style. I am going down to go with you. That's how I would dress. That's right. You see, these things will not make her feel happy. Him or her. Or him or her feel happy. And so that is what will prompt him or her, mm-hmm. you know, going in for other men who are equally with her, or going in for women who are equally with her standard. Mm. 
So when you are married to someone who is higher than you, you should be ready to put yourself up, learn to catch up with the fellow. You should learn how to drive. You should learn how to talk when on there, phone. When there are too many cars in the house. There are too many cars in the house. You can't mm. drive. For all these years in the house, you are not improving yourself. You should know how to read and write. At you least you can help try. the kids in the because, homework. Yeah, you can find a teacher, teach mm -hmm. you A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. you know, alphabet. Because of the, with level, time, where with the level where your partner is. You give us about two or three years. Even within six months, mm -hmm. you will catch up. I know a pastor, he's now, he's now a bishop mm -hmm. in Ghana, mm -hmm. 1992. When he came from Kumasi to Accra, he could not even speak English. But today, he has his doctorate degree. Wonderful. You see, uh, he has improved himself. Right. You see, mm -hmm. he has improved. So, and it's working out. And it's working out. It's helping you. Mm. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. I'm going to go for my last question, and that will be that for tonight. Um, well, today. Um, okay. <laughs> This is a funny um, comment so far. Mm, okay, yes, yeah, so Edinka, Edinkra Club of BBT. <laughs> we are here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Patience. Yeah, so some person takes Holy Ghost shy chicks. Okay. <laughs> I said this before him. Um, learning is very important. Why, when choosing a partner, education shouldn't determine who you choose as a partner. Learning does. From Gertrude Rayford. Regina AC, great discussion, guys, but never settle for less. It never works out. So, <laughs> <laughs> we who said, said that? We, um, Regina yeah, we, AC. We, we, uh -huh. we said it that you look at the person. Person. If he, he willingness or she to is learn. willing to learn. If mm. he's not ready mm. to, to, to learn, never, never settle, settle for less. Settle mm. for less. It doesn't you know, work it, out. It, it will person. never work. Yeah, mm -hmm. he or she will give you problems in life. Or, you mm. not make you that happy. is what I said. Oh, Equality mm. matches. Yeah, that's right. Put too much load on you. Mm. In life. Okay, now my last question. It has something similar to do with what Getty just said. Um, education. I am educated, or I am a high position person or high rank person. When going into a relationship or when looking for a partner. What are some of the qualities of a person that I should look for? I am a medical doctor. I am a radio presenter. I am a bishop. I'm a, I am a pastor. I am a politician. I am single, ready to settle. I'm looking for somebody to get married to. What are some of the qualities of the partner that I should look out for? Apostle. Having acquired all educational standards mm. or positions in life, mm. if you really want to settle mm. in marriage, mm. you should look not outwardly, but inwardly. And the inwardly is mm. what makes the outward looks beautiful. Okay. Now, you look at a God-fearing person. Mm. How can you see or determine whether this person or that Are you person saying that because you're a man of God? Uh, I, I don't want you to talk as a man of God. Uh, I understand talk as a socialist. Yeah, I'm talking mm -hmm. as a socialist. You know, mm -hmm. even even those who are not even a Christians to say into brackets, mm -hmm. even will still go in for Christ people who fear God, mm -hmm. who has the fear of God, because they know why they will treat them well. They know why they have godly nature in them. Mm -hmm. And when they settle and live with them in life, hey. they will not give them oh, problems. Oh, my and though. Oh, my fine spy. Okay. <laughs> And if you look out for humility, someone who is humble, mm. humility comes after one has acquired or gained all knowledge, mm. but will be able to put it down and relate to you on one on one, okay. not based on anything, no conditions attached, but will be able to humble himself and know and deal with you mm. in a manner that will please you or both of you to make you happy in life oh, for somebody who is humble oh, someone um, who will speak kindly mm -hmm. someone who will understand you emotionally there are others they could read emotionally and know you are not happy why mm -hmm. ready to comfort you mm -hmm. you see you look out for someone who has got a good character mm -hmm. someone who's ready to share mm -hmm. 
someone who's ready to give. Because oh. if you want to settle with a man or a woman and he or she is not ready to give, no, I'm afraid you are heading towards danger. And then you look out for someone who's really ready to sacrifice. Mm. And love is, is all sacrifice. about sacrifices. Mm. Someone who really wants to sacrifice, he or she wants to sacrifice mm. in life for you. Mm. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Apostle. And, and then good mm. sense of humor. Somebody can make you laugh. Yeah. Smile. <laughs> no. I don't really know. Good Not sense somebody of humor. who. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> This is a very beautiful greetings from Psalms 31 verse 1 to you. That's where this music is dubbed from. Mm. Remember some people can pretend coming from Lillian Yashi. Mm-hmm. I agree with you from Angela. This is an eye-opening topic and we have we all have different opinions coming from Donna Jacobs. A very big greetings to you, Donna. A special one to you, Priscilla, wherever you are. And your beautiful daughter Zoe. My wonderful niece. Mm. Bishop, are you ready to deliver? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's see. What are some of the qualities I should look for as a, as a well-educated person, a well-endowed person, somebody resilient, well-financed, financially stabilized, um, positionally attainable? And what should be some of the qualities I should look for? All right, Bishop. Mm. Number one, mm. follow after your spirit. I should chase my spirit. I should follow my spirit. Go after my spirit. Okay. Because God has given us a kind of spirit in us. Mm. When you meet someone mm. and it's genuine and you have the spirit of God in you, mm. God, you'll be able to discern. Mm. Times initially the person may not be even to your liking. Mm. But God can prepare that person because of where you are going. Mm. I give you a typical example of as my wife. Mm. If anybody with such a position and title as a pastor, seeing where she is coming from, will not go. Will not go. Mm. But at times, follow after your spirit. If I use the word spirit, I'm talking about what God dropped. If I have prayed, mm. what God will drop into your spirit. Mm. Follow after your spirit. That is point number one. Do I even have to pray before uh, I get a choose? Hundred and five percent. So, don't choose because of outward after outward. No, I love the physics. personal. Ah, mm-hmm. How do you love? The connection is there. No, how the affection is there. How she respects me. Oh. She loves me. I she know. sacrifices for me. She supports me. In fact, Somebody she knows how to have dress. All how the qualities. The mm. How mm. you can have all the qualities, mm. but allow the spirit of God to give you the green light. What if you are not a Christian? Yeah, if you are not a Christian, that is where the, that is where the problem is. Mm. Eighty to ninety percent of problem that we are having is because mm. at times we look at what the person can offer offer temporarily. Mm-hmm. You don't look because when a, a woman wants you, a man wants you, he will give you heaven and earth. Mm. Whatever she he or she needs to give it to you so that they can have you, mm. they, will, they, they, they they will offer. But the point is, if I say follow after your spirit. When the spirit of God lives in you, mm. no matter what the person is giving, at times the Holy Spirit can prompt you. Mm. If the person is not the right person, mm. he can still prompt you. Despite of all that the person. So non Christians are not enjoying good marriages. Is that true? Oh, they no. are enjoying good marriages, I'm but they don't that. pray. Each and every one of us mm. have got godly nature in us. Oh, okay. It depends on how one trains or builds it up. So it doesn't take only Christians to it pray to take God. Only Christians Everybody to pray to can God. pray to God. And still, God, God still gives good things to all of them also. Mm-hmm. Especially mm-hmm. the non-Christians. Yes, they all. That's okay. why all of us have dreams. 
we go to sleep, mm. every, whether Christian or non-Christian, mm. you can still have dream. God still communicates to all of us. Mm-hmm. So you listen Perpetual Kesi says it's a good thing to say. Thank you very much. Go with your heart and let your mind guide you. Get rid, read forward. Um, get rid, your comments are so touching. I like your comments so much. Like, and uh, she says, uh, education levels are the least important thing in marital happiness. Marriage is about partnership and growing together. So if you're choosing a partner, Please go with your heart and let your mind guide you as well. Mm-hmm. Get rid of Rayford. Thank you very much. Big shout out to Isaac for me, Getty. Um, but but that, that that also can only be possible when you have the knowledge of God. But I have other, than that, of other, other than that, other than that, you'll mm-hmm. be led by your own self mm-hmm. and you fall into a ditch. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much, Apostle. Let, let, let me go to Bishop for the conclusion. You you were you were talking about the very Yeah, first I was talking about following after your spirit because the very moment you have the spirit of God in you and you pray about it, mm. at times mm. you can be led by God. Okay. What are the persons in? One of the major reasons why at times we make a lot of mistakes is that we look after the outward at times, mm. but we must focus more on the inward before we think about the outward. The real beauty is not what you see outside. Mm. The real beauty is the character. Okay. And it comes as a result mm. of the one that I'm talking about. Apart from that one, the rest of other qualities that my brother said will follow suit. Mm. The second part, marry according to your faith. Mm. I repeat, yeah. marry according, according to, to your faith. faith. Yeah. You can't be a Christian and mm. see someone who is a most uh, sorry to you the word <laughs> with different religion That's right. because of where you are going and mm. looking at outward physique or the kind of job he's doing, then you go for the person. Mm. You will end up selling your salvation, losing your salvation. I'm talking because I will never even enter into marriage without mm. taking my faith into consideration because I know I will not remain here forever. forever. So I need someone who understands my beliefs and my faith who is standing with me so that I can make heaven. That should also be my priority. Mm. Before I even think about too much level of education. Mm. If I get that one and the person is only, only going to pull me down, what have I done? Number three, someone, um, I, let me use the word compatibility. Mm. Someone that you click with the person. Mm. Compatibility also means, uh, uh, do you feel that you, you guys click? Look into mm. that one. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then number four, humility. Mm. Someone who knows how to humble himself. Right. When issues comes during the time of caution, was he able to say, I'm sorry? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And important. at times, some people will say, that, ah, mm-hmm. If you said, I'm if, sorry. If, if, if you said, if you say, if I wronged you, if you say, I'm okay. then I'm sorry. Mm. Such a person, think twice. Mm. We have not married, and this is the pronoun that we have mm. been making. Once you marry, it's very hard for the person to say, I'm sorry. Okay. And number four, someone who contributes. Because marriage is about bringing what you have. Contribute does not necessarily mean money. Mm -hmm. Uh It not only mean money alone. Mm -hmm. Some people, whatever that you are doing, they don't care. So when, uh, when you guys are caught, look into all these things. Look into all these things. With your school that you are going... How far has he been able to contribute? I'm talking about idea, caring mm-hmm, about right. it, Supports. asking, mm-hmm. showing concern. I was class today. Uh-huh. They are all part of the contribution. Yeah. He doesn't want to know anything about, about that. You. He doesn't want to know anything about your mom. Mm-hmm. He doesn't want to know anything about your father. He doesn't want to know anything about you. All that he wants to know is anything about what he wants to get from you. Mm-hmm. Think about those things. Is he ready to sacrifice? Mm-hmm. Sacrifice simply meant giving up for someone to go up giving up for your partner to go up i've married you things are very tough for me i'm still schooling and he's not ready to give up for you for, for you to go up mm. and you are willing to go with such a person he's only th- if ma- marriage is all about selflessness if the person becomes selfish while courting you have to be very careful and there are so many factors that you should look into it mm. education is also a factor too according to where you are going because you marry according to your vision. Where are you going in life? You must have a destination. If you don't have a destination, everywhere become a destination. Right. I repeat, if you don't have a destination in life, a woman will eventually take for you. A man, if you are not ahead and have a destination for the family, a woman will end up dictating for you because you don't know where you are going. Mm. Once you know where you are going 
and you are able to put it on the table and brings out a vision, the woman will follow. Thank you very much, Bishop Dr. Alexander Dijenfi, Apostle TK, Apostle Tinkra. Let's enjoy this. A special happy birthday to my daughter, Ella. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Mm. Happy birthday to you, Ella, wherever you are. Enjoy a beautiful day today. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay, coming to the funny time. This is part to part questions. Straightforward answers. Let's go. <laughs> Before I go there, let me read this. Joke of the day. Maybe your partner is a drunkard. You don't take him out to some important functions. Chai, Charlie, this one be bad in Ghana. Vo Ghana voice. Oh boy. Brass up. <laughs> Patience, be careful. You've never been to Ghana before. But, uh, Talk about Nigeria uh, uh, now. Uh, Ogami, I don't like that though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, did you want to say something? Well, I wanted to say, um, uh -huh. if you've married mm. and you feel your partner accept him or her as he or she is, mm. and then you move on, gradually you get to where you want to get to. Oh. Uh, but just don't just, you know, abandon him or her because he's not like this or because he's not like that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That is another interesting one. Now, um, straightforward mm -hmm. answers and... Um, Let's go. Who should I listen to when choosing a partner? My pastor or my heart? Straightforward. You give me the question. It's A and B. So you're going to choose. <laughs> if I... <laughs> no, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm, no, 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 no. I want a straightforward answer. Yeah. My mm. pastor or my heart. Who should, what, what, what should he? Who, who should he? Who should, who should I listen to? Which your one should I follow? Mm -hmm. My pastor in choosing my partner or my heart in choosing my partner? Straightforward. Just one. No explanation. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bishop, I can, I would yeah, take that. I'm not taking that. Because, uh, <laughs> this is the entertainment part of it. Uh, please, uh, okay. you so can. You are not answer. bringing both as as part of the answer. No, both is out of it. If both is out of it, then mm. I will take my heart because that is where God speaks to me about. It. Because God can discern who that person is. True. If heart. I have prayed, mm. God can use. Me, uh, God can speak directly to me mm. for me to know who that person is. <laughs> Apostle, mm. heart or you, your pastor or your heart? <laughs> Listen to your pastor. <laughs> Listen to your pastor. Okay. Listen to your pastor because he has the voice of God. Yeah. Mm. God. What if the, the, what, what, uh, the, uh, the pastor's choice fails? That I can come back and blame the pastor. Though. Yes. That is what earlier on, I wanted to say earlier mm. on that uh, mm. it, it depends it depends. It depends mm. on the kind of pastor. Mm. He may be right, he may be wrong. You mm. may be right, you may be wrong. Mm. So it depends. But at the end of it all, mm. when your pastor is choosing for you, make sure you the Lord will also reveal what the pastor says to you mm. to know. If it matches with your heart, mm. then you should know what he is saying is true. Follow the pastor, follow my heart. <laughs> It's a very beautiful today, um, beautiful one today, and um, we really appreciate your time, your love, your contributions. We can never do without it. Now, my, my next question. <laughs> mm. We have been courting for the past three years. We have grown to love each other so much with deep compassion and love. I know we'll be all right. it's now, it's time for us to get married. Hmm. My pastor called me and told me that I support this marriage 100%, but God has been revealing to me on three different occasions in a revelation that 
this is not the right person for you should you go ahead and marry this person you are marrying danger would you listen to your pastor or follow your heart it's a beautiful one to all my wonderful listeners and viewers okay yeah. any answer if you believe mm. and trust that mm. your pastor has been called by God, he preaches from the Bible and he teaches you good things. Why not listen to your pastor when we are making a decision in marriage? And Honestly, if he my, tells you, mm-hmm. if he tells you God says you should not go, why not listen to him than than depending on your own self? Your own we self. are from the same church. Yeah. People know us together. Yeah. Planning on our marriage. Yeah. Pastor knows us that mm. we are together. We are mm-hmm. planning. We are working to yeah. get married. In the counseling section, Mm -hmm. that is when it came out through Revelation on three Mm -hmm. different occasions. Mm -hmm. The pastor has been excellent. Mm -hmm. Any of the things that he's been telling me or she's been telling me Mm -hmm. has come to pass. Mm -hmm. But this time around, do not go for this. This is not what God wants for you. After three years of courtship. Courtship. Courtship does not mean static. You should by all means get married. But, Pastor, don't forget that in the act of the courtship, I was submissive. I dedicated all my time to the person. I have been there for the person. I've been praying with the person. I have been sacrificing for the person. Yeah. I stopped talking to other people because of this person for three good years. Yes. And, and oh, I'm, Pastor. Three years. Uh-huh. And the rest of your life, let's take about 90 years. Mm. You'll be going through the rest of your life of something that you wouldn't want and something that will not even end you well. And just three years, mm. taking three years out, then the rest of the days and the years ahead of you will be peaceful and successful. Let me let me let, let, let me chip in this. A lady came to me. She's in my church, all right. She's courted a, a, a guy. They've gone out for about five years, still going mm. out with a guy. And when they were about to marry, the proposal came. We prayed about it, and then later the Lord went and revealed Himself to the lady. Mm. She saw herself going to the shop, grocery shop, to buy purple. The outward was, ve- the purple was very nice. But when he brought it, when she brought it home and then she cut into two, she realized that in, in, in it was rotten. It was rotten all out. And she did not understand the dream she had. And I told her, look, you are going to get married. But the Lord is telling you that the guy, the, her, the partner that you have chosen will not help you. You see, the partner will not help you. So it's not, it now depends on the woman, the lady, to listen to the voice of God or to go by her heart dictates. And later on, she did not listen to what I said. Even the man could not even come on. The guy ended up not even marrying her. Mm-hmm. Yes, the guy ended up committing abortions with her. And at the end of the day, the guy did not marry her. Another person has come from somewhere to marry that lady. So it is good to listen to what your pastor tells you than to go in for your own way, mm. go in with your own intentions and with your own heart. If you can trust your pastor that he can deliver the word of God from you, if you can trust your pastor with his prayers of blessing, then you should also learn to trust your pastor when he tells you this is for God and it will not help you. Thank you very much, Apostle. Bill. Yes, sir. Any reactions or rebuttals? And the about that question. About that question on if you follow your pastor Mm -hmm. or you follow your heart Mm -hmm. three years of caution three years of submissiveness three years of dedication three years of time wasting three years of selflessness three years of love comfort company and all that pastor says according to the third revelation he has had about your relationship you will not very be successful when you get married to this person he is not the right person for you would you listen to your pastor or listen to your heart if i could hear you well mm. could hear you well mm. your pastor said there had been a revelation Mm-hmm. Three times. God has spoken unto him. Mm-hmm. Be obedient if genuinely you believe in your pastor. 
just be obedient mm. so that you don't encounter unfavorable consequences in your life ever. Mm. I know a sister who has lost her life mm -hmm. because she failed to listen to the pastor. She failed to listen not to the pastor but mm -hmm. to someone saw that where she is going mm -hmm. but she only focused on the mm -hmm. outward because the person has mm -hmm. completed college mm -hmm. and the person has gone to abroad the person's parents are this the person and God through another man of God told her your caliber this is what I feel and God is telling me this is not the right person still wait on God don't think you are all your mate have married and therefore you are going for such a person because all her mates have married and she feel that she's been left out is right and things are getting on too late so she forced herself for the guy to marry her eventually what the lady had gone through even to an extent of losing her life at the time she's not supposed to have this is a typical example mm -hmm. She had the kids all right that she's looking for. Mm -hmm. But eventually, after mm -hmm. five or four years, mm -hmm. three after three years, mm -hmm. she never experienced genuine love mm -hmm. from the man. Mm -hmm. And she has lost her life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we ought to be very careful. God knows our future. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at times, we should not just yeah. uh, be disobedient well, yeah. to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Else, we'll pay the price. Okay, thank you very much. Um, happy birthday to you, Ella, um, from Patience. And happy birthday to you, Ella, from Joyce Bar. And um, this is too hard to OG. This is a very hard and a tough question coming from Patience. Okay, Edward Afuakwa says, um, pray over it for God's directions. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, mm -hmm. and another one coming from Patience. He says, oh, I'll follow my heart. I'm not listening to no pastor. Okay. Um, patience, Anthony, come again. Patience, you are confused. Now she says she's going to listen to her pastor. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Alexander Autry say, My father, my father, OG, thank you very much, my wonderful son. Um, how's Dubai? Okay, um, Gertrude goes like this Me and my husband been together for 16 years, and we not we both not Christians, we love each other and understand each other, we disagree to agree, um, we compromise, we forgive each other. And when we go wrong, thank you very much. Another beautiful one from you, and um, another one coming from Edward B. Afuoka says, Besides listening to my pastor, I must also pray for God's direction as well. Yes. Thank you very God much. Will come back to you when you pray, yeah. mm. Mm. God will confirm His word mm. to you yourself, yeah. Much making from the um, church sometimes is a big problem. My patience in four years will never forgive her pastor for choosing a husband for her who gave her eight children and yet he was very abusive to her. She finally left him and went away with her eight children. Be careful. Follow your heart. Let's follow your pastors. Pray about it and follow your heart. Angela, thank you. Um, thank you very much, patience. Mm, I see you watching. Thank you very much. Um, yes, follow your heart, oh, coming from Margaret, um, inside, um, London. Thank you very much. <laughs> My last question. Yeah. I just need yes or no. Mm -hmm. We're closing. Okay. Yes. Hmm. Is it tough one? <laughs> no, very simple. Easy. <laughs> okay. We've been looking, living together for years now. Mm -hmm. We've been having consistent conflicts. Any listing brings about argument always a huge sense of disagreement we always disagree mm -hmm. we always disagree does it mean we are not compatible mm. too much conflicts no peace mm -hmm. time mm. so yeah. does it mean we are not compatible mm -hmm. yeah it's one of the indications that you are not compatible it's clear Mm. Yeah, it's clear because you are all you are not getting on. You are always disagreeing, you are always fighting, not understanding each other. Then what is relationship for? So it tells uh -huh. clearly a clear sign that you are not compatible. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bijo, 
A hundred percent go for whatever he said. Mm. Mm. You don't think there is something that we should just try to work it out? Mm. Oh, it could be work out provided if both of you can go to counseling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because at times it means that you people are not able to solve your own issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you must look for a pastor or someone who can help you and always share. It has to be someone that both of you highly respect. Mm. Very knowledgeable even in that field as far as marriage is concerned. Mm. Uh, so that it's not ordinary person, it's not every pastor that should sit in your marriage. Mm. Mm. And it's not every elderly that should sit in your marriage. Someone that both of you have agreed that you want that man to sit in your issue. Because there are certain people, though you can respect, but on that fault, they are not good to help you. Mm -hmm. So okay. look into all those things. Because normally, when you have you have that kind of incompatibility, your husband will always listen to that person only when he highly respects the person. Mm -hmm. It's not every man that your husband wants him, or every pastor that your husband would want him to sit in their issue. Likewise, is it every woman or every pastor that your wife would want her to sit in that issue? So mm. both of you should agree on when we have such kind of problem, whom should we even go to? Both of you should agree on that so that such a person, both of you can also listen to. Other mm. than that, if you take your partner to someone that your partner is not comfortable with, he will not even open his mouth and say anything. Mm. Mm. Look into that one also. That makes issue more solvable for both couples. Thank you very much, Bishop Alexander Dujemfi from Bible Believers Terminal Kill. And then I have with me Apostle TK from um, Olive Chapel International. Thank you very much for making it another beautiful one today. Today is the third edition of the Drive Time Show for the year um, 2020. And... Um, this has been another impressive program, um, a pro a progressive and um, very um, important as well. We believe you enjoyed it, and I believe that you're always going to make time with us. We come on your way same time next week. My name is Excellency OG, the microphone president. I'm your host. And then, beautiful one for you. Tomorrow, I meet you same time on the Drive Time Show, the Gospel Hour after church. Make time with me, 3 p.m. sharp, bringing you what you um, need to hear from your church pastors and what you also share with me, what you heard from your pastor. Tomorrow I have another wonderful um, pastor, Pastor Richard from Bible Believers. We'll be here with um, Patience Anthony and then it's going to be fire. Mm -hmm. Remember that the only and the best makeup you can wear is that very beautiful smile you can wear on your face. So many a wonderful person. It's always good to put a smile and face on. Activate your smiles. And you shall always be young and beautiful. Same time next time, same where. I just would like to tell you that I love you, but God loves you more. Be good, be nice, and then just follow your heart in all decisions that you make. Um, I didn't take advice from them today. Not that I'm being disobedient, I'm being too rude. Um, just that the time is far gone and we would like to end here. I know you've enjoyed a lot, but you forgive me. You pardon me for this. I'll give you some more next time, okay? Enjoy some music. I love you all.
on the chink or tamanim. Not drunk or be old, don't you? Be old, and the Macada can't tell me. He said, I'm all on social, no, not to me, and I'm here to be. I'm crossing your sorrow. 